Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to review this Sailor brush pen that I have with me and maybe compare it with the Pentel brush pen. So let's see how good this is. This is also known as the Sailor Profit brush pen. Profit is the name of the body design. I have another Sailor pen. This also features the Profit body so they are almost the same shape however this is more expensive because of the gold trimmings and the finishing is much better there are little details and words carved here now for the sailor brush pen this is made of plastic it feels a bit cheap it's very lightweight definitely much lighter compared to this fountain pen here and also details on the clip you can see here um, this is actually just smoothed out However, for this fountain pen, there are some uh, lines here, additional lines here. And one nice thing about this is you can actually uh, interchange the body. For example, uh, since this is still based on the profit body, you can actually swap out the expensive body and basically just change, move the brush tip to the expensive body and you can you can screw it back on like this so now I have a brush pen in this uh, nice looking body but of course this is much more expensive let me put this aside first oh by the way this is the ink cartridge that comes with the brush pen so they come with I think one or two extra ink cartridge however you can actually use the sailor ink cartridge let me show that to you. This is the Sailor fountain pen ink cartridge. And let me remove this. And yep, you can fit it into the brush uh, grip here. So this is going to save you a lot of money if you want to um, use your own ink. I'm using normal cartridge paper today. So let me try and get some thin lines going on. Just like other brush pen, when you press down, you can get very thick lines. And if you have a very light touch, you can get very thin lines like this. The ink flow is very good, much better compared to the Pentel brush pen that I have. I'm not sure if the initial um, ink cartridge, whether or not it contains waterproof ink. But I'm going to test that out later on. So this is the dry brush effect that you can get when you use the brush pen quickly across the paper. And this is very good for um, strokes if you want to create foliages, grass. And you can also use this for drawing of course. This should be dry so let's test whether or not this is waterproof it seems that it's pretty water resistant um, although some of the ink actually came out so probably not good for using with watercolor so the ink that came with the brush pen is not waterproof however with the ink cartridge you can use your own waterproof ink so that's not really a problem with the brush pen you can get very expressive lines when you are drawing you can go thick and thin depending on the pressure and it's a different way of drawing compared to drawing with pen and ink because um, now you have a tool that is more delicate more responsive uh, depending on your pressure that you put uh, towards drawing so this is um, a very quick sketch I find that this brush pen is not as good at creating thin lines compared to let's say the Pentel brush pen or the Kuretake because the tip is a bit I think a bit short 
but it is definitely very very responsive because uh, just the slightest touch of pressure um, it gives you a very thick line immediately The brush pen is very convenient for filling in dark areas so usually when I draw with pen and ink if I do not have time for watercolor I might actually use the brush pen just to uh, color the shade the shadow areas so that I can have extra contrast just to portray the light and shadow so this is really very convenient to have ink is really dark and for sketches where there are foliages and trees this is also very very useful Usually trees are very dark and this is the perfect time for me to use the brush pen and also with the expressive strokes you can sort of mimic the branches, the bushes Let's compare the Sailor brush pen with the Pentel brush pen and the Kuretake brush pen. The Sailor and the Pentel they both use synthetic bristles. Let me remove this. So the Pentel brush pen is actually a pull off type of uh, cap while the Sailor is a twist cap. Let's take a look at the hair. The Pentel has longer um, hairs and because that because that is longer I find that it's easier to create thinner lines definitely much easier compared to the sailor brush pen by the way I'm actually dipping the brush pen into my uh, ink bottle because I have ran out of ink this brush pen also uses ink cartridge however there is no ink converter so you have to i think you have to get their own pentel ink cartridges so in the long run this might be more expensive compared to uh, those brush pens where you can use your own ink converter and ink the pentel brush pen is also very versatile and very responsive However, I do feel that the ink flow on the sailor is much better. Let me try the thin strokes again. So it's not as easy to create thin strokes compared to the Pentel brush pen, but it's equally as responsive. All right, let's take a look at the Kuretake. The Kuretake brush pen well depending on which model you get some of them come with synthetic bristles some of them with the sable uh, hair so with the sable hair it's able to last longer so you don't have to replace the um, bristles that often uh, with synthetic bristles they do wear off after a while especially if you draw on rough surface quite frequently um, this is uh, quite similar in performance to the Pentel brush pen because you can get thin lines very easily as well in fact I think it's a slightly more easier it's easier to get thinner strokes with this Kuretake compared to the Pentel now if you want a good all-purpose brush pen perhaps I would recommend the Pentel if you want something that will last you for a longer time than the Kuretake because this also features uh, 
this is actually an ink cartridge but you can use the platinum ink converter as well so you can use your own ink so in the long run this is going to be a bit more economical but the starting cost of this particular brush pen is more expensive so this is the stroke you can get this is not as thick compared to the Pentel uh, brush pen you can see here the thickness of this uh, sable bristles and the synthetic bristles of the Pentel brush hair um, so the variation uh, is not as big compared to the Pentel brush pen however uh, the build quality of the Kuretake is much better because um, this is very solid metal um, in terms of pricing the sailor brush pen is more expensive and the Pentel is slightly less expensive however you cannot use uh, ink converter so in the long run it's going to be a bit more pricey so even though this is a bit more expensive uh, you can use the sailor ink converter later on so that's all for today's review of the sailor brush pen if you want to know where to buy this brush pen the link is in the video description as well as links to the text review for the pentel and kuretake brush pens thank you for watching see you in the next video bye